Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for August 24th. I'm Samantha Bartram. Investigators have linked a missing woman to the human remains discovered in the ashes of a burnt shed in Leesburg yesterday. This afternoon, Sheriff Stephen Simpson confirmed that the body is that of Cornelia Arnold, who lived with her family only yards away from the entrance to the property where her body was found. Arnold was discovered by law enforcement after several reports were received about a small structure fire. Her burned body was found just outside the burned shed near Balls Bluff Regional Park Monday evening. Approximately 545 last night, Leesburg police received a call for a small structure fire on park property here near Balls Bluff. Upon their arrival, uh, they noticed the fire was out at that time, but did notice the uh, human remains that were inside the building had been burned as well. Um, they appear to be female. And they have been taken to the medical examiner's office in Fairfax where all cops have been conducted as we speak. Standing at the scene today, little remained of the run-in shed, which was situated on unused farmland that was acquired by the town of Leesburg and the Northern Virginia Regional Park Authority in 2000. Leesburg's police spokesman Chris Jones today confirmed that someone from Balls Bluff Road called about a missing family member yesterday just after 5 p.m. The caller consulted with police about how to proceed in filing a missing persons report but declined to do so. No report has been filed since. That inquiry came only 45 minutes before calls were received about the fire. When members of the Leesburg Police Department and the Department of Fire, Rescue and Emergency Management responded, they found the fire already out in Arnold's body. Investigators worked the scene until nightfall when last night's storm made it impossible to continue. Officers began working again at daybreak. The scene was cleared at approximately 1.30 p.m. today. Simpson said officers will be canvassing the neighborhood tonight to learn more about Arnold and any activities people may have witnessed in the area Monday. Any family members, any co-workers, anybody who might have any information that we're looking for. Uh, so that will continue obviously until we come up with some type of resolution. Check back on our website for updated information on the case as it becomes available. In other news, dozens of Loudoun students got a special back-to-school treat this morning when former Washington Redskins wide receiver James Thrash visited the Salvation Army thrift store in Leesburg to help distribute backpacks stuffed with school supplies. Individuals and businesses across the county, including Wayne's World Music, tutored by a teacher, MC Dean, and the Sterling and Purcellville Rotary Clubs, donated the supplies as part of the Salvation Army's Tools for Schools program, which works to provide families in need with necessary school supplies in preparation for the coming school year. Thrash, assisted by his son Jaden, had additional surprises in the form of autographed pictures and trading cards. Thrash is a well-known face in Loudoun's volunteer and nonprofit community and sits on the board of directors for the Good Shepherd Alliance. Salvation Army Development Director Judy Brittle was on hand to assist with handing out the supplies and said the event was a great success, noting that more than 300 students received donations from across Loudoun. Another downtown Leesburg business is on the move. The Old Country Peddler's last day downtown will be Wednesday, September 7th. Store owner Lisa James said it was time to close up shop following declining sales. The store opened in Leesburg four years ago and has occupied four different locations downtown, including the current location it shares with Fleur de Lune Flower Shop. James said there are no plans to reopen the store elsewhere. Instead, she said she and her husband may move out of the area to be closer to family. Through the store's last day, all merchandise will be marked down 30 to 60%. For more information, call 703-297-8741. Finally, anyone interested in joining Run Rabbit Run Theater's production of Once Upon a Christmas Carol have just a few days left to schedule an audition. The company is looking for 18 actors, ages 8 through 88, who enjoy comedy, improvisation, playing multiple roles, singing, and can carry off an English accent. 10-minute auditions are being held from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Friday, August 27th at Hillsborough's Old Stone School. The play is scheduled to hit the stage December 3rd through the 19th. Specific audition tips and requirements can be found at rrrtheater.org. To reserve your audition spot, email rrrtheater at gmail.org. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.